The phosphate energy system provides an instant source of energy for use in high intensity muscular contraction. This system is highly utilised by your fast twitch muscle fibres. The two substances, adenosine triphosphate and creatine phosphate, are stored in the muscle. During high intensity, short duration efforts, like weight training, the phosphate energy system is heavily utilised. The ATP available in the muscle provides enough energy for about 3 to 5 seconds of muscular contraction. During this phase, free ATP is broken down in the muscle into ADP and a single P. As this happens, free creatine phosphate in the muscle is broken down and donates its phosphate to the ADP molecule to resynthesize ATP. The additional phosphates provided by creatine allow the phosphate system to last for between 8 and 10 seconds. So the 100 meter sprint at the Olympics is almost purely utilizing the phosphate system as it's less than 10 seconds in duration. Activities that heavily utilize the phosphate system include Olympic weightlifting and powerlifting. It's also a key energy system for ball sports where short bursts of energy are required, such as a rugby scrum or an AFL full forward. In the gym, the phosphate system is utilized best during heavy weight training that involves repetition counts of less than five reps. It's also heavily used during high power activities, such as maximum vertical jump repeats. Free ATP and creatine phosphate are readily stored in and around fast twitch muscle fibres, which makes them readily available for high intensity bursts. Once exhausted, the phosphate system relies on the aerobic system to regenerate levels of ATP and resynthesize creatine phosphate. With this in mind, very high intensity training that engages the phosphate system requires complete rest as recovery in order to maximize ATP stores for the next effort.